In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a new zone. So to create a new zone, we're going to go to the zones page. And on the top right hand corner, you're going to see this button that says create new zone. So to create a new zone, all I need to do is click on that button. And this will load up my zones page within ClearPlan. And as you can see right now, if I, if I zoom out just a little bit, we can look at these are all the zones that we've already created. So the zones are always going to have that darker gray surrounded by the dark black border. That's a zone. So you want to think about zones in terms of you're drawing a fence around something and all your accounts are going to fit inside of that fence. So we've already created all of our zones for the Reno Vegas market. Let's go into some place where we don't have any zones. And I'm just going to create these so you guys can, can figure out how to do this. So we want to go into Sacramento. One of the ways where we can set, center the map is just over here. We can start typing in Sacramento. And as you can see, Google gives us these suggestions. And I can see I want Sacramento here. So I'm going to click that. And now my map's going to center in Sacramento. So now I can start drawing my zone. So to draw a zone, all you need to do with your mouse is come up here to the center and you'll see this right here. This is the polygon tool. So all I need to do is click on that tool and then bring my mouse down into the map. Now to leave my first point, all I need to do is left click once. And then if I pull my mouse away, either left or right or up or down, you can see it, that stick follows my mouse. So I want to pull this away to where I feel comfortable and I want to left click to draw another point and I'm going to pull the mouse away. I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to left click again and right now I'm just drawing a big square. So I'm going to left click. I'll bring it back up to the top and as you can see once I get close to the top my mouse is going to turn from the crosshairs to the finger. There's my finger. All I need to do is click again and I've closed the zone. Now, once I've closed the zone, I can give this a name. So I'm going to name this test zone because I'm going to delete it anyways, but I'm going to give it test zone. I'm going to click save the zone. And as you can see, we get this successful message up here. Hey, the zone was saved. Now, an important thing to remember after you draw a zone, you always want to tell ClearPlan that, hey, I've built a new zone. The easiest way to do that is simply to come up here to the left hand corner, this little circle, and we're going to click this. All we're doing now is refreshing the page. And by refreshing the page, we're telling ClearPlan, hey, we've created a new zone. Pick it up. OK, so we've created that one zone and let's go ahead and zoom back out here. Let's look at our Sacramento zone. There it is. Now, if, I, if you're using a mouse with a scroll wheel, you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out of your map. You can also drag your map from left to right by left clicking and holding the mouse down. So now I can drag my map. You can see that right here. And I'm going to draw another quick zone for you. So again, to do that, I'm going to grab this polygon tool. And I'm going to start my zone. I'm going to start it up here on the left hand corner and I'm going to click left click, drag it to the right, left click. I'll drag it down left click, bring it back, left click. And now I'm getting close to my zone that I've already created. Now this is important. We do not want to have any gaps in between zones. But at the same time, we don't want to overlap too crazy when we make zones. And the reason why we don't want to overlap too much is because only one zone can actually own an account. OK, so we want just a little bit of overlap when we make the zones. You can see right now I have just a little bit. And then again, when I come to where I started, I close it and now I can name it. We're going to name this test zone two. And I'll save it. And now I just built my two zones. OK, pretty easy. Once you once you get the hang of it, creating zones is real simple. And one of the important things you want to always remember within ClearPlan is this. You're going to create a zone and you're going to have to go in and delete it and redraw it once you sort of get the feel for clear plan and the way that it works. OK, so don't be don't don't feel scared about creating a zone and, and leaving it forever. They're not set in stone. We want you to create new ones until you figure out what's best for your company. So that's how you create zones within clear plan.